we see that we have a denominator. And I'll give you guys a hint. Whenever you guys see a radical, think of restriction number one. Whenever you guys see a denominator, think of restriction number two. Yes? So the infinity will always have parentheses. Yeah. Infinity will always have parentheses. Always. Um, so when you guys look at this one, we see we have a denominator, right? There's no radicals. Cool. But we have a denominator. So what do we know about the denominators? Or our, our restriction number two? Our denominator cannot equal zero. So what is our denominator in this case? Same thing, x plus 2. So all we're going to do is say x plus 2 cannot equal 0. OK? x plus 2 cannot equal 0. Does any other number work? Does 5 work? Does negative 2 work? Yeah, they all work. Just not, just not whatever we got. Well, which value does it not going to work? We know it's negative 2. But to do that, all we'll do is say, just subtract negative 2. So x cannot equal negative 2. But every other number works, right? So let's go through, let's do, uh, let's do interval notation first. So here's the list of all numbers. Um, infinity. OK? So now let's go and think. Um, Let's go and kind of look into where we're going to be. It's going to be all numbers except for negative 2. So we can say negative infinity is less than negative 2, which is less than infinity. Because t negative 2 is not included, because those represent non-inclusion. Okay. Another way to look at this is This represents all real numbers, correct? Right? So since this represents all real numbers, we know that 2 is not included. So we need to represent this as negative infinity to 2 and 2 to infinity. So what we do is we kind of break it up. We say, well, from negative infinity all the way to 2. Oh, negative 2, thank you. So from negative 2 to 2, because remember, that's not included. So negative 2 doesn't count. And then from negative 2 to infinity. And technically, a lot of times you guys will see this as a union connection. Um, but you could also write it with a non-union connection as well. Okay, And this is going to be the preferred, my preferred method of writing domain notation, just so you guys know. I like writing it here and writing it up like in there, too. I'm not going to use any quality sim I'm not going to use any quality notation um, too much, but we'll uh, that will basically how you can convert it. Make sense? Yes, no, maybe so. 